Hey everybody. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to come in really quickly with this, um, I guess this video, this vlog. I was having this conversation with a friend of mine um, last night. Was it last night or earlier today? No, it was this morning. She's actually staying over, but she's not here right now. That's her stuff right there. Um, and basically, it was about living in the present. <sighs> One problem that I have a lot is that... Well, I mean, some, most people would see it as a positive thing, and I see it as a positive thing. Um, I always am planning. I'm a big planner. I plan for my next move. You know, I'm in, you know, I'm in school, then I graduate, then I you know, plan to get a job, and then I plan to get a job, and then I plan you know, what my next job is going to be. I start a project. I finish that project. Even while I'm finishing the project, that's what I want to say. I go ahead and plan the next project and so when I finish it I already have the next move ready and I'm just one after the other one after the other one after the other for a 24 year old I'm pretty I'm pretty accomplished um, you know I have a bachelor's degree I am making my own money I live in my own place I'm paying my own bills and it's not like I'm not making buku buku money, but it's I'm making decent salary, especially for, you know, my young age. Um, and so and not just having a job, but an actual career, like an actual, you know, a nurse. That's a that's a legit career. So, um, you know, you would think that you would be happy with that. And so my friend basically we were talking about. Well, she was talking about um, how, you know, she's what she's going to do next. And she's content with where she is, but she does she does understand that it's not where she wants to be permanent permanently and is basically planning her next move. And for me, it's kind of like I told her and I was like, you know, you know, don't forget to live in the present. Don't forget to appreciate what you have right now what you've accomplished right now and learn from what it is you need to learn from what is that glare sorry there we go learn from you know your current situations so that you are better prepared for your next situation planning is good but don't plan to the point where you can't appreciate right now and she said she said girl you are preaching to me and it was interesting because when I thought about it and I was like wow you should really listen to your own sermons <laughs> because um the reason why I, I, I was able to say that to her is because I do the same exact thing I'm never I'm always planning for the next move and I'm never too content or too comfortable in right now which can can be a positive thing but on the other hand it shouldn't be to the point where it's hindering my current growth because I'm so focused on the next thing and it's to the point where I am minimizing my accomplishments because it's kind of like well I feel like I'm coasting even though I've accomplished a great deal and I'm still accomplishing little by little every day but because it's not a major milestone I feel like it's nothing um, no lesson is too small you learn from everything um, every experience you know in your life I learn every time I go into work clearly I'm a novice nurse there is something to learn every time I go in and I am learning and um, I just want to admonish you guys uh, especially you all who are, have the same personality type as me, where it's like you want to be accomplishing something all the time. You want to be um, actively accomplishing a goal. And that's a beautiful thing. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm only speaking to the people who are like me, who over plan, who overachieve, who are overly planning for tomorrow to the point where you can't appreciate today. So, guys, I just want to tell you guys to live in the present. Take time to... Is that a wasp? Sorry, it's not inside, it's outside. Take time to learn from um, today's lessons. To take time to learn from today's experiences. Take time to learn from... 
um, you know, today's work so that, you know, your goals that you are trying to accomplish for today are well executed and, um, and let tomorrow take care of tomorrow. The Bible says that. You know, why do you worry when God provides for, for the birds and the lilies of the field and all this stuff and none of them go a day without you going hungry? Why is it that you worry? Um, and so that's what I want to share with you guys. Live in the present. Live in the moment. Appreciate not, right now. Yes, it's important to plan for tomorrow, but tomorrow is not promised. But right now, you have that. Your right now moment, you have that. So appreciate that. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.